What's up everyone? Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. I'm Owix and today we are moving on to the third chapter, which is really exciting. There's a couple things that I want to check. I want to look into the sparks again, maybe unlock some new things that I haven't used so far. And yeah, just explore a bit more. And I'm wondering if I should backtrack to the previous chapters. Because, again, there's those items that I've picked up that I haven't used yet. The Buddha's eyes, the golden mask thing. I really don't think that I miss anything, because I explored every nook and corner. So I'm not sure if the objects to place those items in are going to show up later, or if I have to go back. That's pretty much it. So, per usual, let's keep the tradition. Grab your water, beverages, wives, cats, husbands, whatever. Nero is sleeping right next to me, which is really cute. I already took a photo and I'm going to show it to you. So you know what I'm dealing with, the cuteness overload that is right in front of me. Let's just watch the introduction of the third chapter together. What, what's next? Like a flooded place? Um, fire? Who knows? Poison? A poison swamp? Is it the poison swamp chapter? But let's just get ourselves ready. I am sure I want to proceed, thank you. Chapter 3, White Snow, Ice Cold. So I'm gonna face the white wind enemy. We're no longer gonna get that guy singing to us, are we? I really like them. Gotta increase the brightness. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Cute. What? Oh, I remember that in the trailer, I think at some point we were pretending to be a statue, right? Or an enemy was pretending to be one. Are we gonna learn a spell to blend with the environment? Or is it just enemies? Well, <laughs> I don't know if I just got my question answered. But we'll see. Oh boy. What are you gonna do? I... It was a mistake. I didn't expect to trigger this transformation spell. But sure. Today we are going for a no-hit run, huh? Oh, and I believe I recovered some mana. I think because I did transform, maybe I didn't use all the mana of the spell. From the chandelier! From the chandelier! I have a secret talent, which is to break people's ears. And I use it very proudly. <laughs> I say this after turning myself deaf long ago. Damn. I fuck with this area. Pretty cool. What about the little kid? Oh, it's here. I can't do shit. Talk to me. Cool area. It's fun now, since each chapter is separate, each chapter has its own introduction area. And it's it's funny because it feels like you're starting the game anew multiple times. I haven't played a game that does this in a while. Are you a bat? <laughs> this, this bat is fun looking. I tried to dodge. I was out of stamina because I'm a stubborn motherfucker. As we all know. So let's see. Snow Hill Path. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I see. The guiding light. 
Sometimes I find it funny to think about the logic of things. Like, in games, you have the urge to explore every single corner because you don't know if there's an item hiding. If it were in real life, you wouldn't give a single shit if there were corners around the place that you were exploring. The amount of time that you would lose doing so. But yet, in a game, it's like every single place could have something. Alright, let me light up the first shrine of this chapter. What's the animation, actually? The snow melts. Oh, didn't change much. I, th I thought all the snow was gonna melt. Ooh. Plus 30 of defense. Holy shit, that's a big upgrade. But I keep having the same issue, though. I really like the armor that I have equipped. At least the chest part. Because it heals me. Yeah, I I'm... Ooh, it's golden. That's cool. Alright, turns out I am full of shit. Because... <laughs> After just saying that I wanted to explore more about all the other things that I had on my menu that I didn't use yet. What did I do? Absolute jack shit. So I just removed some sparks on the transformations and I increased uh, some sparks on the immobilization spell. Oh, and regarding the part that I was saying about maybe backtracking on the previous chapters, I am actually gonna do that, because when I finished the previous chapter, I realized that while opening the menu, on the journal section, there's things that I have missing. Two chiefs, four kings, and one character. And one character means probably an NPC quest, which is not good, because if I miss the character that I should have already started this quest before, I'm worried that I'll go back to him now and I won't be able to do the quest as I should. But yeah, I'm gonna backtrack a bit, I'll run through the area, and yeah, I'll hit record once I find one. Each sip recovers 43%. I'm gonna be able to use this gourd seven times now. Oh, it looks cool, it changed... I like how it changes the look of both the gourd that you use and the wine. It's, it's pretty cool. I believe I just found something. Yeah, there's a spirit here, okay. <laughs> Holy shit. There was a small cliff here that I didn't notice. I'm gonna get a new spirit that I totally missed on the on the first chapter. Okay, good thing that I came back. Now I'm happy. Now I'm glad that I spent this time exploring and backtracking. Wolf Assassin. Okay, I was already feeling a bit upset because I was just thinking like, damn it, I've already explored this chapter so many times. I'm certain I didn't miss anything here. But no, there was a spirit here. So you get here, you come this way, and you go up, and you face enemies there. I don't know if you remember me coming here, there was one of... There was a bull guard here. And a lot of archers. And yeah, and there was this tiny area here, I just saw the chest and I was like, yeah, that's it. Takes the form of wolf assassin, throw out knives that claim lives from a distance. Slightly increases critical hit chance. It's actually quite similar to the guy that I have equipped. This one does a similar thing. It, it, throws two knives but i like the buff of the one that i've equipped better it increases my attack oh yeah right and i also found gentian seeds i gotta find someone to plant these things it's gonna be helpful so instead of searching for these materials i'm just gonna have them at hand i'll just buy them from someone i guess it's pretty funny to run through this area again because the way that i obliterate the enemies here now and i ran through such a big portion of the chapter without taking a single hit okay so I think the rest of the things that I missed were in the second chapter. I feel like one of those characters is the Red King that I wasn't able to, to save. But the rest though, that's a lot of things that I missed. Who knows if they were help if they could be helpful against the Yellowwind Sage and I just didn't find them. But now the question is where whomst the fuck how how who where are they? There's more water there. I don't know if that's the continuation of the river. Holy shit, I just found another proof that I'm so stupid, dude. Look at this. 
I went by these enemies and there's something here to pick up. I was so focused on defeating the red guard and this fucking mage all the time that I didn't even remember to look to the fucking right and realize there's an item to pick up. What is it? A pill to increase my health. It's a soak! Oh wow. That's even worse. Increases damage reduction. Yeah. This could have been helpful. Hello? What the fuck? Oh, I can't go inside. There's something coming from here though. What the hell? Why am I hearing a roar? I'm not sure if this is... Mm, I don't even know what to say. I feel like I just found something that maybe not everyone found. Such a weird thing. Why do you hear a roar next to this building? Why is there a well that I can't jump inside? But I hear this. What is going on? I'm confused. What the fuck? I've already killed the tiger. Is there another one? I think I might be onto something. So this is the area that I found that I fought the second red prince. There's a shrine. There's a bridge. And look, what is this? Oh, it doesn't even have pillars identifying it or anything. Why does that rock formation look like a snake head? Holy shit. Uh, but yeah, what's the point of coming here just to fight three frogs? The way that it, this lifts my hopes. Thinking that I found a place where an enemy is gonna be. And then I don't get jack shit. Oh, but I got some new seeds. Okay, maybe that's it. I did find the Gentian seeds while exploring in chapter 1 as well, so... I guess you just get the seeds if you, if you explore a specific place, it's not like a chance thing. I just realized something. I was looking at my gourd down on the left, and I noticed that it has one circle full out of two. It didn't have that before, it just had one. And I was wondering what it meant, and I just realized I can equip a second soak on it. And when I leveled it up, it gave off the idea that I leveled it up to a better version. But I didn't know what it meant. Yeah, it's empty. Exactly, I have the Celestial Lotus Seeds and another one. Okay. Alright, I think the choice is obvious. This actually looked like it could be the place to use that uh, item. I gotta check the name. I think it's Sakura's form or something like that. Skanda of form, exactly. Yeah, I was hopeful. I was awful there. Wait, 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 wait. I should hit record. What the fuck is going on? I just heard a little girl's voice or boy's voice saying I'm here. Uh, use my little eardrums. I, I have no idea what just happened. I was so confused to hear a voice. What is going on? And why is everything gray? I was just exploring, minding my business, ignoring the enemies. Getting stabbed while I'm just trying to go around. But then this happened. I'm here, little monkey. Let me hear my rattle, my rattle drum. What? Dad <coughs> I know an old man in the stone and a pig that drinks all the drinks or whatever it said. So the two NPCs of this area. And then it said inside the well it's a secret. Is this the fucking well that I just found? Dude. And what the hell just happened? Like, why do I have a fucking drum of a kid? Why am I hearing a voice out of the blue? What the fuck? I am really confused. Like, I am really happy that I found something. But how and why the fuck did I find it? I still can't do anything here. 
All right, I think I'm gonna take a break and then I'll be back. Drink your waters, take your meds, go to the toilet, stretch your legs, do all that, and I'll be back in a second. I really want to solve it myself. Because it's not something that I do usually. Every time that I get stuck on a puzzle like this, I usually just end up googling it. When I really like the game, I give myself the challenge and I do try to think of it about it for a while. And when I do that, most of the times it works out. But on this puzzle, I am super stuck. I think I'm gonna give in, but I'm not gonna search for the solution. I'm gonna see if I find hints online. Okay. Basically, I got this item from the Tiger's Acolyte. Then I heard the child's voice in the other location. And I gotta use it again in some other place. I tried to not read the name, but I think it's in the Windseal Gate. I feel like I gotta find a, another place to trigger the child talking. I know, I, I feel like I'm breaking a big rule by searching online. But here's the thing, I really like the game, I really want to try to solve the quest. I feel like I triggered the beginning of it out of context and I got super confused. I needed a hint, okay? I'm confused, why does it say to use it in the windseal gate? Because that's exactly where I am. Like, I just crossed this bridge, go to the left and that's where I heard the kid. What am I missing? Why is it telling me... I, 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 let me make sure that I'm reading this correctly. Yeah, so it says, use the rattle drum in Windrest Hamlet Village. Oh shit, I see. I triggered the quest in the wrong order, I guess. I jumped through because I saw, okay, first step, get the item from the Tiger's Acolyte. Second step, I already did it. And then I jumped to the third step. And it was saying to come here and I was super confused because something already happened here. Alright, I'm straight up checking online the exact place that I gotta use the rattle drum on the village. And the way to the village because I was a bit confused. Maybe I didn't trigger this part of the quest. <coughs> yeah, I didn't. Okay, it's here. Okay. So here the kid just talks about how the village was telling him that his father was collecting people to feed to a guai. Is this the third prince? Is he talking about the Red King, or... Should I go back to the main village, actually? That would actually make sense, because it talks about the well. Maybe now I can trigger the part of the quest next to the well. Is that it? I'm a fucking genius. Okay. All in all, I actually did pretty well. I had to search up a part of the quest because I was super confused. Oh... I wanted to immobilize him and I, I accidentally used the item. That was not what I wanted to do, but okay. Hey, okay. So now I can go in. I swear, if I jump inside and the kid is dead because that creature inside killed it. But yeah, it, it makes sense. Like, as I was saying, I triggered the quest out of context. I got super lost because I didn't even remember to collect the drum. And I'm happy, like, I, had, I needed some guidance midway, but I ended up solving the quest by myself. That was pretty good. I'm actually happy with that. Oh, 
。兄弟又如何？老子早晚要报这个仇。Mad Tiger. I knew it was a tiger. Let me guess, he killed the kid, didn't he? What? <laughs> oh shit! Are you mad? Wow, I was just about to use a spell and the fucker didn't even give me a chance. What is happening? I feel like the game bugged for a second. I was about to give up. This suck because he interrupted so many spells of mine. Another thing that I just wasted. Gotta in increase damage reduction. Good timing. I would have probably died without it. Third try, okay. Just really annoying. The, f the way that the fucker just one shot me right off the gate. That was something. Oh, what the fuck? This bugged. What happened? I oh, know it was the spells, okay. I thought this bugged. A different gourd! Oh! Finally, dude! So we got a new spirit and a new gourd. Roar with terrifyingly might, terrifying might to shock surrounding foes and deal area damage to the front. Moderately increases attack, but massively reduces maximum health. This other spirit that I have equipped also moderately increases attack. The, the buff is the same. 
Maybe the damage that he deals is higher. But yeah, let me check the gourd. I swear, if I just leveled up the other gourd to 7 uses and then now I find a better one. I spent one full chapter not leveling up my gourd expecting to find another one. I finished the second one without finding it. I level up the one I have and now I find it. And it was on the second chapter all along. Health recovery is halved, but attack is increased for a short duration after using the gourd. Now nah, you know what? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, ho oh, oh, ho! Oh. We're onto something, guys. I was just thinking, like, okay, he mentioned the piggy, so let me go back to this area. And I was just thinking, we didn't come back here after we interacted with him in the Tiger Temple. I thought I was gonna find an item. I didn't think I was gonna find the guy. He's here. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna fight you? Where did you acquire my brother's gold piece? What do you mean? Yellow Robbed Squire. It's your name. I didn't expect a boss fight. What the fuck? What? What is going on? Why am I fighting you, dude? I really thought you were gonna be a chill NPC guy that was gonna help me somehow. Why are you aggro at me? <laughs> I like that I hit him in the head. What is wrong with you? So you are gonna open the gate. Okay, as I expected. Great. You didn't open it, motherfucker. But can I go through now? Snout mask. Oh, interesting. Is he the real Wind King or something? What is going on? I did not expect to fight him. What the fuck is going on? This session went from, oh shit, I'm spending so much time not doing anything to just being baboozled by all the shit that is happening. For a short duration after using the gourd, moderately increases attack. Refraining from using gourd for a relatively long duration moderately reduces attack on the contrary. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Since the guy is such a drunk fucker, the benefit is related to drinking, and if you don't drink, you get a debuff. <laughs> That's that's actually pretty funny. I like that. It's so well thought. This drunk bastard. I really like this. This is so well thought. This mask is so fucking funny, dude. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this. What a turn of events. This is not how I expected this episode to go. I, th I thought I was just going to backtrack a bit and then find and go to the next chapter. This is so funny. Oh, I didn't have his, his entry yet. He was the character that I was missing. Oh, there's something to interact here. What's it going to be? Go in. Finally. Alright everyone, so with this, we finished this episode, which has been so exciting. It started off such a menace, because I spent so much time going around trying to find things that I didn't know what I was searching for. On the next episode, I'm gonna backtrack a little more just to find some enemies that I didn't find. And then we'll move on to chapter 3. And that's it! Thank you so much for tuning into this episode, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care everyone.